Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is May 31st, 2020. So, I think... You see that growing? I think my straw had seeds in it. Actually, I know it did. <laughs> I don't know if that's oat or hay or... I mean... Looks like an oat seed. See that? So anyway... Yeah, now I'm going to have, let's see if the cats will eat this, because, you know, but it's all over. <laughs> it's growing all over the place. Excuse me. Oh, well. <laughs> it is what it is, right? But the Swiss shard's doing good. Look at that. Put them down. That one. Where's there another one? Yeah, look at this one. It's doing real good, huh? Hey, buddy, what are you doing? It's been raining. Well, rained for two days. We got like about an inch worth of rain. And yesterday we had showers. Beautiful. See, I just pulled up another one. Yeah, that's either oat or wheat. See that? Where'd it go? Ah, well, that's what I get for using hay from Walmart. I guess straw from Walmart it was actually supposed to be a uh, Halloween de decoration, but I picked it up a couple of years ago to use in the strawberries. Oh, crazy dog. What are you eating? Crazy dog. I wonder why you don't eat food. <sighs> <laughs> so, I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hoping that I'll get rhubarb because you, you see this I didn't cut it I didn't take the flower down soon enough and there's only one stalk down there where is it, is it this one here that's the only one on this plant and I don't want to take the flower down, you know, the whole stem down, because I'm afraid that uh, the plant will die. So, I guess I might not be getting rhubarb this year. Same with the earth. They all, I did the same with all of them. I didn't realize I was busy doing other stuff. I didn't realize how many flowers were on here until I looked one day. And, yeah. So... It is what it is, and I'll get rhubarb this year, and I'll get rhubarb this year. Maybe next year I'll get some. Same with this one. See, there's only one stalk down there. There's only one stalk on this plant, too. I don't know if you can see that. See it moving? So, yeah. It is what it is. What am I going to do? On the other hand, look, we have some blackberry flower buds coming in. See that? Can have an abundance of blackberries, I think. Well, yeah, let's take a look at that, huh? Let me fix this first. So, here's flower buds. Here's flower buds. Here's flower buds. Flower buds. Flower buds. Where'd that other one go? Flower buds. Uh, that looks like tiny ones on the raspberries there. See that? So that's cool. Everything else is looking good. 
Here's the cowards. Some of the cowards. Cowards. There's Mary. I harvested a little bit of the uh, herbs yesterday. Put them in the dehydrator. Some kale. Look at how pretty these violas are. <laughs> Cute little faces. There's the kale. This is grapes. That's more blackberries. Or raspberries. They actually look ra like raspberry leaves. So, look at that. Although, let me see if I can find the end of this. Oh, yeah, no, these are blackberries. Try to get this out from. There you go. Yeah, those are blackberries. They just look lighter for some reason. So, I don't see any grapes forming, but it's early. It's early. Anything on this one? Probably not. I think it's too dark over here for the blackberries. There's a spearmint. I, I harvested some of that. I harvested some of the lemon balm too. So I want to get it to bush out more. Same with the chocolate mint. So yeah, I don't know. Grapes are coming in good though. I wish I knew how to make stuffed grape leaves. I know it's rice and something else. Yep. So. These are the gooseberries, no flowers. I don't know when they set flowers because I have yet to see them. See, this one broke. These have blinds, which is cool, <laughs> but not good if the dog eats them. Let's see how we're doing over here. It's beautiful out, it's like 60 ish. So, yesterday I came out here. I'd killed my uh, mm, this thing, my uh, scarlet lemon bean, because it was growing where I didn't want it to grow. So I pulled it out and I kind of bent it. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll pick back up. Who knows? Radishes. <laughs> Radishes. Yep, that's a cucumber. Here's the pea plant, decided to grow on the other side of the fence, which I didn't want because I wanted it to be shaded from the other stuff, but what are you going to do? It is what it is, right? Here's a cucumber. See? Sorry. Is it I have you pointed in the wrong direction there? Here's the pea. Cucumber. I don't know what happened here. Could have been hit with some heavy rain there. We had a couple good storms come through. Of course, they didn't do a great job of weeding, I guess, so there's more of the icky grass in here. Probably gets crab grass. Whatever kind of grass it is, it sends runners up. I think those. No. Are the some of them are the uh, bunching onions? I think that has to be a beet. I think I put beets along here. And then maybe those are beets coming up. They could be lettuce. I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't mark anything. I just dropped things in. So we'll see if whether that's lettuce or grass. We'll find out eventually, right? <laughs> let's see it's on this side I'll fix the, the top when I come off <clears throat> so looks like this was topped off already or it just decided to branch out on its own or maybe that's just oh, see how it looks Looks like it. I don't know. At any rate, I'll be topping them off later.
Maybe P decided to come up on this side. That's all right. Radishes galore. <laughs> it's okay. They actually, you know what? If you pull these out, they actually taste like radishes. A mild radish. So I'm looking forward to the... I've never grown the collards. I've never grown kale. And I've never grown... Actually, radishes I've never grown. Um, or any of the squash. The Either the dump, sweet dumpling or the... Uh, which is where? Or the... Um, uh, here's a sweet dumpling. Or, or the other one. Or did I do? Sweet dumpling, butter, cup, and honey nut. So, I've never grown any of those three. But, that is a poblano, and so is that. And that is jalapenos. Yum. <laughs> Looking forward to a somewhat good harvest. Could I show you the tomatoes? Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, that dog's crazy. Okay, so back there in the middle of the tomatoes is my Ichiban eggplant. That's the great tomato that I bought. And then these, I planted them down to the bottom of the leaves. Like I stripped the bottom two leaves and I planted them pretty far down. These are my little tomato seedlings. I'm thoroughly happy about. I didn't mark what was what though. This one I know though is my uh, uh, what's that called? My favorite one there. Brandywine. And that is my one lone Aristotle beetle, basil seedling. So, oh excuse me. In with the tomatoes. I also planted some parsley seeds and basil seeds, some carrot seeds too. I like to see what would grow and what wouldn't grow. So we'll find out. It's only May 31st and uh, it's 60 here in upstate New York. So yeah, I'll be right back. I want to show you something. Actually, I'll make a different video on that. Yeah. So isn't that cool? My little seedlings, I don't remember where I put what. <laughs> so that could be plum, that could be plum, or that could be plum, or that one at the end, or they could be beefsteaks. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea other than that one down there that I know was a brandy wine. And that one that I bought that I know is a grape. So, even if you start your seeds... <clears throat> Even if you start your seeds late, I'm hoping the sound was okay before, because I was holding in my hand by the microphone. Um, even if you start your seeds late, I mean, it's May, so they'll grow. I mean, you have June, July, August, September, and even almost into October. So, yeah, they'll grow. Yeah, the thing is, though, you want it to rush. You want it to hurry up, you know? Ichiban eggplant. That's Asian eggplant. Those are the thin ones. I love them. Love, love, love them. I like the other ones too, but those, like I said, I could get at the farmer's market for a dollar. And, uh, yeah, Let's see how everybody else is doing. This is that raspberry that I transplanted. Ooh, look at the goji berry go crazy. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. There's going to be a ton of goji berries this year. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Neat. Let's see any flowers over here? I don't know. These are kind of going really slow, so I don't know if they're going to grow this year at all. They might be from last year, but look. There's more flower buds. 
There's more. There's more. Awesome. You're gonna miss one, I think. Oh, that might be a leaf. I'm not sure. There's flowers. All those flowers are gonna be berries. Awesomeness. Anyway, just thought I'd pop in and show you how the garden's doing. I don't know if I should give that grass to the cats or not, because I don't know exactly what it is. I grow wheat grass for them anyway, so they'll survive. <laughs> They're not deprived, that's for sure. And those are the shelling peas down there. And that one asparagus. The only one asparagus. That looks like a pea that's hooking itself onto the asparagus. Would that be good? Ah, there you go. What's that? Strawberries. See them? I'm working with the fence covering here. See all the flowers? Oh, flowers. And even a strawberry down there. And like, like where? Here, there's a strawberry. Cool. Looking forward to strawberries this year. I was looking forward to rhubarb and strawberries, but uh, my own fault. So this is going to be cool. I've never grown the Swiss yard and they look like they're doing good. So I'm happy. I'm happy. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Hope everybody's doing good and staying safe out there. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.